Okay, welcome to another Shop Talk. A uh, couple of things today, some exciting new news about some kit. You know, I love my stuff in the shop, which I'm gonna share with you. There's also gonna be, if you stick around to the end, give like the video, I'm um, gonna do a little competition. There's gonna be a giveaway for something for the 18 volt router. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But one of the things that's not so good news today, now luckily no one's ill in my family or my friends, to be honest with this coronavirus, but it has hit Manor Wood in terms of my next show at the NEC, which costs a lot of money. Um, you could probably buy that table saw that you see me using for the price of one stand for three or four days. Uh, I've paid up front and at the moment NEC are trying to reschedule it or the organizers and it doesn't look like we're gonna get our money back at the moment. Uh, so I'm gonna lose a lot of orders from not being there. I'm also gonna lose a lot of money. Uh, so I'm pretty gutted about that, upset. Um, I have got a lot of orders going on at the moment, lots of other projects, so that's all good. But it is big blow. It's really started to pick up momentum. Uh, my furniture at these, these NEC shows, I get a big, a lot of really, you know, people around the stand that are really interested. I get a lot of leads, some good orders, um, and it's really building up. And then it, this one's been blown, and there's another one booked uh, in, in London, which we're now crossing our fingers, the Grand Design Show. Again, we paid for it up front, you have to. Um, it's just a bit of a nightmare. I was not expecting this. I know that this affects everybody and it isn't to do with anyone's health at this point. So that is always good, but it is a blow. It's a real blow to my business. So hopefully I'll feed back. If we get the money back or things work out, I'll let you guys know, but it is a bit of a disaster for me um, and my friend who we share stand. So anyway, that's the boring coronavirus stuff out of the way. I guess no one was expecting this to happen and it's a big, big disaster for us, um, for everyone. It's, it's anyone it touches in an in adverse way, it's a disaster. But anyway, here onto the cool stuff. What have I got to show you today? First of all, you know how I love my 18 volt routers. I hate bloody cables getting everywhere. If you do it working on small items or small little things, all those cables dangling and pulling around always gets in the way and can even lead to little mistakes and stuff. So I spoke to Frank about this ages ago. Now he was, I've been using his base. Stick around to the end, you could win this for free. I'll post it to you anywhere in the world. So stick around and make a little competition up this one. I've got a new one from Frank to match this one. Um, which is why I'm going to give my old one away. Um, but this is the thing I want to show you today. This fits onto any rail. In my case, it's a Festool rail. I'll show you it in action and it is so much quicker. So the normal process for me doing small rail based rebates or any sort of channeling would be I'll go to my Festool uh, 1010 and this is what happens every time I go to do it. I'll open it up, Put it into the box. I'll get out my rail guide. Get out. Arguably, I could leave this set up, but it's a bit of a mess and I'll probably never find it. I'll put this on here. Then I'll go down to this thing. Put this on. Now, I, you know, this isn't a big deal. I'll put that on there. Then I'll go over to here and I'll adjust this setting here to make sure it takes into account the rail. Sometimes I forget to do that and it is a pain. You get a offset cut. I always do a test cut, so I usually catch it there. Sometimes I forget to set this up and that's it. That's ready to use. Now, that is pretty cool and it is a good way to use it, but you do need to set it up and it does take this little router out of action. So if it was doing something else and I left it preset on a job, I'm down one. Okay, now onto the Makita. It's a very different prospect with this. Now this base is like a fit, it's really well machined, uh, kind of like a billet aluminium from FC Tools, Frank over FC Tools. Uh, it fits directly onto the little base. Um, you can just literally drop it on. So a handy thing will be, I think what I'm gonna do now, I've got one of these, because uh, I've also got one of Frank's other bases, the more, the smaller base, but still takes the inserts, your uh, brass inserts. Okay, let's have a quick look at these little bases. They're not just pretty, they are very pretty, they do look cool, it's not just for that reason. They're actually designed, as well as being a better base, better size base for this little router, which is quite top heavy, giving you somewhere to put your finger. Um, they're actually designed to be used with the copying rings as well. So, if you look here, you can actually use your ring straight in there considering these aren't that expensive and a, something for like a Festool, about 28 quid or something for one of these little inserts here for your 1010. So 
It's a really handy thing. Not only is it better to use generally, but the fact you can use your little copper inserts or brass inserts, I should say, absolutely brilliant. Okay, now the next thing to show you is these little stops. They're for, I believe, any rail again. These are I work on my Festool. So if you're worried about, if you need to do a stop-start route, these are really good. Um, they slip on. Again, machine brilliantly. You can lock them down. I mean, you could use this with your sliding saw, to be honest. It doesn't mean you just need to be the router. Um, pretty straightforward. Just get the blade out of the way. You can just go into there and stop, there and stop. Move it along. So just uh, it's just a pleasure to use. You can just move this with one hand, but it's not on here. Really feels good. Um, to be perfectly honest, other than the fact it doesn't plunge, uh, believe it or not, it does actually feel better on here than that. So it's just a different way of doing it. It's really compact. You've got a fixed offset here, which is 50 mil. So that's really handy. You always know it's in the same place. Set your fence back 50 mil. Um, just a brilliant little device. So easy to use and a joy to use. Uh, sometimes when you're doing little bits on the end of, uh, say, doors, you just want to do little V-grooves or whatever, little rebates, patterns. You just, you know, you just sometimes you can't be bothered to set up one of these routers, uh, depending on what you're doing. And with this, it's just so quick and easy. Absolutely awesome. If you want to do a little rebate, make sure you've got it on there. Now I'm doing this with no vacuum, just for demonstration purposes, but you could see just how easy that is. And if you were doing, I don't know, even a drainer on the draining board, you can just bring this over, set 10 mil stops, bring this over, no problem, bring it over again, whatever you wanna do. Um, and then you can do your rebates. It's a really quick way of doing it. And if you've got one of these little routers, this is absolutely priceless. What a great idea, really well built, brilliant design. I absolutely love it. Okay, so I've now got the matching silver base, not very different from here, but I'm gonna give this one away. So I did buy this, but I'm gonna give it away uh, to subscribers. Now to win this little uh, plate for your Makita router, works with the 240 volt one or the 18 volt cordless. Okay, so to win this little bad boy for your Makita router, all you need to do is subscribe to this channel, subscribe to my new channel, or there's a link in the description for my other channel, and also subscribe, make sure you subscribe to Instagram. Yeah, there'll be a post on Instagram. If you could comment on that post, please. Also comment on this video that you're watching, and I ask one favor, please watch the video again, and this time, don't skip the ads. I do the same as everybody else, we all skip the ads. I think by not skipping the ads, you're really gonna help the channel, help me make more videos. Uh, if you can be bothered to do that, that would really be helpful and I'll send this anywhere in the world. I'm gonna use one of these random generators to go through all the comments and next week, if not next week, if I'm not around the week after, I'll announce the winner of this little plate which will fit onto your Makita router. As always, thanks so much for watching. Uh, thank you for all your support. Patreons, thank you very much. Um, still working on the idea of doing a resin school. I might actually just put, um, I'm not sure if everyone likes the Patreon thing, which is fair enough. So I might actually just put a little Etsy package together and there'll be limited numbers. I'll try and get a date together um, and we'll all make some resin or whatever. So um, thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one.